In this video, we're going to talk a little about concurrent lines, so it's a little introduction to concurrent lines. So first things first, we have to talk about what it means for things to be concurrent. The word concurrent is defined as when three or more lines intersect at exactly one point. That point has a specific name. That point is called the point of concurrency. Now, any time that lines are, or there are three or more lines that intersect at one point, so we have three lines there, we've got four now, these lines are just lines in the plane. They intersect at one point, right here in the middle, or in the middle of the diagram, that would be the point of concurrency where those lines intersect. But we've been talking about triangles, so we're going to talk specifically about in triangles. There are four types of concurrent lines in triangles that we're going to be talking about. Medians, altitudes, perpendicular bisectors, and angle bisectors. Now when we talk back, look back at the definition of concurrent lines, we have to have three or more. Well, we have to do a little bit of review of what these things are. At this point, you should pause the video for a moment and try to recall the definition of median, altitude, angle bisector, and perpendicular bisector. So pause the video for a minute and see if you can remember. So recall for a moment what a median is. A median is a line segment that connects a vertex of a triangle to the side opposite that vertex at the midpoint of the side. So if we have a triangle, the segment connecting this vertex to the side opposite at the midpoint would be a median. Now we have three vertices of this triangle, so there's one from that vertex, there's another one going from the other vertex, and of course we would have a third. That one wasn't very good. Let's try that again. Going from the other vertex to the third side. Our next term in question is altitude, which is a segment that connects a vertex of a triangle to the side opposite the vertex at a point where the two segments are perpendicular. So again, if we have a triangle, I'm going to try not to draw it isosceles, okay, but this works for any triangle. I have a point from that vertex where right there they form right angles, they're perpendicular to each other. Just like with the medians, there is an altitude that can be drawn from each of the three vertices of the triangle. Proceed with caution, however. Depending on the type of triangle, the altitude may intersect on a line outside of the triangle, the extension of one of the sides. Our last two terms to recall are perpendicular bisector, a line, ray, or segment that bisects a segment and is perpendicular to the segment, and angle bisector, a ray whose end point is the vertex of an angle and which divides the angle into two congruent angles. There are four types of concurrent lines and segments in triangles that we're going to talk about. The first of which is when the three medians of a triangle are concurrent, which they are. The point of concurrency that they have is called the centroid. Okay. The next is when the altitudes are concurrent. The concurrence of the altitudes is called the orthocenter. Next, we have concurrency of the angle bisectors. 
when the angle bisectors intersect, they are called the incenter. And last but not least, we have the perpendicular bisectors. The perpendicular bisectors point of concurrency is called the circumcenter. We will talk more about all of these tomorrow. We are now at our favorite part, the homework. Hope you enjoyed the video.